recent touring of the artificial groundwater release system in Innswood St. Catherine by the Honorable Desmond McKenzie, Minister of Local Government and Rural Development, and a team from Rural Water Supply Limited is a special highlight of World Water Day, Tuesday, March 22nd. The visit addresses the theme of World Water Day, Groundwater, a look at what's been flowing from the ministry. We just opened Aberdeen in St. Elizabeth where we are commissioned a modern uh, facility that is providing water to thousands of persons in that community. Mm -hmm. We have seen the input of rural water into the water harvesting in our schools. And we are now working on a number of projects. Chambers Pen in Anova, which is a part of the Rural Development Trust of the Government. The system falls under the purview of the Rural Water Supply Limited. Situated on 68 acres of land, its main function is to divert approximately 5 million gallons of water per day from the Rio Cobra River through the National Irrigation Commission Canal during the wet season. The water is settled and injected in limestone wells to recharge the limestone aquifer and to replenish the abstractions from wells into the Portmore Bernard Lodge area. Audley Thompson, Managing Director of Rural Water Supply Limited, on the company's main mandate. Our main mandate is to satisfy the government of Jamaica, 2030 vision, to ensure that all rural Jamaicans have water at least 50 litres, we're talking about 12 gallons of water, approximately 500 metres from where they live. The minister and the tide to follow. We have a number of areas that I'll be visiting with, with rural water and our good friends right across that the, the water responsibility in the country to look at rolling out new projects. But you must remember we have limited amount of funding but we will be working within the limitations of the budget to provide these services.